Uh, today I'm here with Greg, Greg, Greg Lon, Greg Lon Lee, uh, the son of uh, James Lee, who is a well-known uh, instructor in the Oakland uh, Jeet Kune Do system. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And your father also uh, did a book on Wing Chun. My dad wrote about four different books. A few of them were on Iron Hand Training and Silam Kung Fu. Then when he met Bruce in the uh, early 60s, uh, Bruce helped him and he wrote a book, Wing Chun Kung Fu by Black Belt Publisher. To this day, I think it's sold about 400,000 copies. Wow. So that's not too bad. Uh, how did your father become acquainted with Bruce Lee? He met Bruce from my aunt. That's my dad's brother's uh, wife. Uh, they had seen Bruce at a cha-cha demonstration, demonstrating Kung Fu afterwards. My dad was training in Kung Fu way before he met Bruce. He learned from T.Y. Wong and he learned in, in um, Hawaii during the war, just before Pearl Harbor. Is that the Su Sulum system? Yeah. He learned Sulum and how to break bricks. One of my dad's top students today that everybody knows about is Al Novak. Yes, that's and, correct. Um, but after he met Bruce, my dad switched his training and trained primarily with Bruce. Remember now, Bruce is 20 years younger than my dad. Yes. My dad was willing to become Bruce's student and good friend, and they opened a school in Oakland on 41st and Garnett near Oakland Tech. And then later on, they went to train at 3039 Monticello Avenue by Mills College. Yes, I've been there at your house. That's your house, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, now, um, what would you say the, the, the difference between Jeet Kune Do and Wing Chun and Sulam? What, what do you, how do you vary that? Uh, well, they're quite different. Sulam is classical Kung Fu, mm -hmm. where you learn a lot of sets and forms. Mm -hmm. Wing Chun, you just learn a little simple sets and you do a lot of Chi Sao, a lot of drills on the dummy. And what Bruce did with Jeet Kune Do, he added into footwork and the reality of combat and train like a boxer. A lot of um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, focus mitt drills, kicking drills, footwork drills. Uh, he was just too fast for himself. Yeah. Anything else would you like to say, Mr. Lee? I'd just like to encourage everybody mm -hmm. to, to find your own path, to, to get focused, to work for something positive. Mm -hmm. And as Bruce said, the finger pointing to the moon, do not focus on the finger or you'll miss all the heavenly glory. So what he's basically saying is, know what you're focusing upon and stay on your path and look to the horizon and good things will happen to you. Wow. One more quick question. Uh, now, you've, did, you've written articles for Bruce Lee's daughter, is that correct? Because I saw something in the magazine where she... Uh, I don't know if I wrote an article. Uh -huh. They might have interviewed us. Because uh -huh. Bruce Lee Foundation has a lot of different things out there. Right. So I don't know exactly what you're referring to, uh -huh. but we do help with the Bruce Lee Foundation. Uh -huh. And they're getting ready to put a Bruce Lee Action Museum together in Seattle. Uh -huh. Well, you still look young. Uh, since I saw you at the bar uh, okay. a long time ago, more Thank than you 20 very much. Yes, sir. Uh, good day to everybody. Uh -huh. And again, keep working hard. Good things will happen. Uh -huh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right, welcome back to Kung Fu Theater. We're now joined by our special guest, Sifu Great Lee from the Jack Kindo style. Welcome, Sifu Great Lee, to Kung Fu Theater. Oh, thank you, Sifu Wong. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Sifu Li, I would like to ask you, um, you teach Jeet Kune Do, I know, related to Bruce Lee. How did you start your Jeet Kune Do training? Well, I started my training with my father, mm -hmm. James Lee. Mm -hmm. At the time, he was training in Oakland, California. He happened to meet Bruce Lee. He became very good friends and trained with Bruce, and next thing you knew, Bruce moved in with our house mm -hmm. in the early 60s. They trained, and um, then Bruce went into the TV, into the movies, and the rest is history. So you learned from your father? From my father, a little bit with Bruce. Mm -hmm. And in the past years, I trained with some of my dad's students also mm -hmm. in the Bay Area. Uh, now, if you start to the chicken toe, do you uh, involve other style? Well, I like to study the basic principles of Tai Chi and other styles and 
you know, to kind of know what's going out there. But in Jeet Kune Do, we use a lot of Wing Chun techniques mm -hmm. or principles, mm -hmm. but we change the footwork, the timing. We incorporate a lot of boxing and application. We really try to use a lot of application and timing techniques. All right. Now, the name Jeet Kune Do, a lot of people, you know, pick up the name Jeet Kune Do. What was the meaning behind it? Can you tell us about it? Okay. The literal meaning of the word Jeet Kune Do, mm -hmm. Jeet means to intercept, Kun means mm -hmm. fist, Do means way. Mm -hmm. So basically it means the way of the intercepting fist. Mm -hmm. And that means that when something comes at us, when someone tries to assault us or come at us, we intercept them mm -hmm. before they come at us. We intercept them. Mm -hmm. More direct. Mm -hmm. More direct and intercept. Mm -hmm. The only other thing that Bruce used was broken rhythm. Sometimes Bruce would move away, then come in. Mm -hmm. But the key is when we do come in, we come in direct mm -hmm. and keep coming. We keep changing direction. We keep changing mm -hmm. the strike or the footwork, but we right. keep direct. You don't, you, don't, you don't block and then hit, right? Not very mm -hmm. seldom. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may have to, but for the most part, we try to hit, mm -hmm. then block, or hit and block at the same time. Mm -hmm. We don't even call it blocking, we call it checking. Right. Where we ricochet off, like a bullet off a wall when you shoot, ding, ding, mm -hmm. ding, like a pinball machine. So, chicken dough, um, from what I understand, you don't do like traditional, like do the cutter or form, right? We don't do long form sets. Mm -hmm. We do practice drills mm -hmm. of maybe two or three movements mm -hmm. where, you know, punches come to the left side, what do you do? Punches come to the right side, high and low, mm -hmm. and broken rhythm, and combinations of punching and movement. Uh -huh. We try to read the opponent. We spend a lot of time watching mm -hmm. to see what people are doing. Observational yeah. drills. Okay. Now, so chicken dough, when Bruce around and he make those movies and make it really, really popular, uh, after he passed away, now, what is the development of chicken dough now in the worldwide or United States? Well, there's a lot of people claiming to do chicken dough. Mm -hmm. I myself do not know that many of the people in LA mm -hmm. that train with Bruce. Um, you know, they're all doing their own thing, kind of, mm -hmm. of what they were taught. And there is a um, resurgence. You know, you look at the magazine, you always see Bruce on the cover. Mm -hmm. You always see articles written. Right. I, United, I don't really think so. I think everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I won't say jumping on the bandwagon, but you know how things are. Right. So why now you don't, uh, you can, don't have an organization uh, carry on the off of Bruce Lee, right? Uh, there are a few groups mm -hmm. that, that do things, mm -hmm. different societies and such. Mm -hmm. I myself personally do not belong to them. Uh, so that people go a different direction. How do you know to use? Yeah, you know, I, the concept of chicken dough. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, after learning from Bruce and my dad, uh -huh. these are my guidelines. Other people that had followed Bruce mm -hmm. are okay, but after with Bruce and my dad, I mean, that, those are the, the main generation. Down. They're the <laughs> main people that I look up to. Right. So yourself, now you're teaching chicken dough, are you teaching uh, a school or you teach... Uh, Inside and outside techniques. What we mean by that is, in slow motion, when he throws a punch, I'm inside, inside high, outside high, inside low, outside low. I'll show those a little bit in fuller speed. When he throws his punch, inside high, inside low, outside high, outside low but in real life when you throw a punch at somebody they may try to stop what you're doing so when he throws his punch he stops i hit again or he throws his punch boom stop i hit again or i go low stop i hit again and one more so you always have to have an option to be ready for different things sometimes they don't even want to stop your punch. Sometimes a person would throw a second punch after they throw a first punch. He throws the first punch, boom, boom, second, move to the side, get to the ribs, to the jaw, take down, or boom, stop hit. Stop hit the second punch. Let's do that again in full speed. Thank you, Sam. We have some people now that will show techniques of training. What they're doing is just getting the pad and avoid being hit. Avoid being hit, right. 
working for unpredictability, broken rhythm, various body angles. Notice he keeps moving at different angles because your opponent may move on you. You never know how they will move. But one thing for certain, your opponent will try to hit you. You always have to be ready for that. Okay, thank you very much. We have our application now. Sam Lima will demonstrate a few applications against Chris. Slow now. Do it slow. One more time at full speed, please. Okay, another application of a different technique. Slow now. And back at full speed, please. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to show some multiple techniques against multiple opponents. What I was doing was using the opponent as a shield. Let's do that again in slow motion. When he came and I saw this other opponent coming, I moved them into each other's way. When this other person tried to come to me, I moved behind this other one and run them into each other. It's very similar to what you would do in football of blocking or shielding your opponent. Another application, a very simple one, is to use your feet for kicking. Boom, boom, boom. When real opponents come at you, you don't have much time to do something fancy. So we try to keep it simple and direct. Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming, you know, to, to Kung Fu Theater. Okay, thank you, everybody. Okay, thank you, Steve Lee, coming to the Kung Fu Theater so as to check into Chinese. Thank you. Now we are back to the movie, Deal of the Iron Fist. техникой армии. То есть посмотрите, вот идешь идет туда, что да, 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 да,
Polizei. Das ist Polizei. Typisch Polizei. Это полицейская техника. То же самое. Молодец. У меня будет напряжена. Посмотри, если моя рука расслаблена. My name is Gene LaBelle. We have a school here in California, Burbank, California. But he gave a demonstration. It was the best I have ever seen. This man is wonderful. His techniques are flawless. I'm going to learn all his techniques, and I'm going to be good looking just like this man here. Champion. <laughs>